Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Undead Horde. It's uh, the newest game by 10 Tons. I, I love their games. I really enjoyed Neon Chrome. I kind of enjoyed Judge, Jidge, and then I never got around to Tesla vs. Lovecraft. Uh, I think they also made Crimson Land, of all things, which came out a long time ago, but I played a bunch of that back when, back when it was new. Uh, and so this one looks kind of great. It's uh, Undead Horde, which... I don't know if you've been following... Oh, hello. Okay. I don't know if you've been following my Torchlight series or my Diablo 3 series, but uh, I really like being a minion master in games, and so here we go. So, a cafe layer chicken has woken an ancient evil, trapped by powerful magic for countless millennia. The time has finally come to reclaim the world for the undead. Play the chicken. It is dead. Okay. Reanimate it by holding R. The chicken is dead. Long, unlive the chicken. Okay, command the chicken to destroy the urns with space. The chick. The urns. These urns. What ho! Oh, I see. It has destroyed the urns. What is this? Follow me. Attack my minions. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so it aggroes to that. Back to the caged chicken. Rise and shine, chosen one. The humans put us skeletons in these cages when they trapped you in that urn. Good first, they seem to have forgotten what was inside. To start our conquest, we must free the Crypt Keeper. He is held nearby. Find him to start the revolution. Rise dead? Or raise dead? Okay, the purple segmented ring represents your command cap. Each unit is a segment. You can only command as many units as that fit inside that ring. Let's see. Oh, nope. Should have gotten that one as well. Uh, let's see. E? No, it's space. Okay. Space to bring him back. A chicken. A chicken go. I gotta give my chicken back. Dude's got dumb pathing. Okay, so that's something I'm gonna have to keep in mind. We got a world map as well. I. This is interesting. It's a bit different from what I'm used to from these guys. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Okay, hoping to stand here. I guess we didn't really stop for very long. Nope, not a clue. What other buttons do I have? Q? No. So I know this game has like a gear treadmill system. And maybe some other. I I have no idea. This will be interesting to get through because I I I honestly know nothing about it. I'm just used to different 10 tons games, so playing this is kind of wild. Oh, thank Lucifer you came. That cage was hugely uncomfortable. Let's get the Hades out of here. Are we good? We are good. <laughs> ha, sorry, sleepy. Here we go. Good, now we can start the uprising. The living will pay for their foul deeds. Heal yourself and then raise some undead peasants. <coughs> oh, that voice is tough. By using the summoning statues. Alright, so that heals me up. So, we have Namo. We've got something over here. What is this? Oh. Anyway, so... Uh, interesting. So we can actually summon based on a bunch of these things. Champion of everything good and just in the world, from his point of view. So we can have a different number of all of these, I guess? Command value, 25. Kill 10 or more clerics to activate this statue. Oh. Okay, so we have to unlock these, and then I can just bring them with. Okay, so what do we got? Angry peasant. Peasant. Chickens. And dire wolves. Command value 30, command value 2, command value 
seven. What's the difference? DPS goes up by a little. But the regular peasant has more HP. Alternatively, the chicken is hilarious. Oh, kill 24 more chickens to activate the statue. Oh, I see. It's it's not going yet. All right. Well, okay. Each unit type has a unique command value. The more powerful the unit, the higher its command value. I'm just going to go nuts with these guys because they're a little bit m more durable. Well done. Contact my brother when you reach the surface. Good luck on your conquest. Okay. Annihilation of Kina Kinamo. The living must pay for what they did. The village of Kinamo will be our first target. Onwards. Hope I get to change my hat at some point. We this seems like the... This seems like the kind of game to have, like, a whole bunch of different hats. Oh, hello, Orson. The Crypt Keeper's imprisonment must be avenged. Destroy this pathetic village to let the living know we're back in business. Excuse me. So, it's Overlord-ish. I think those bodies will just stick around for the time being. Okay, claiming areas. Claim an area, destroy all the buildings marked with yellow on the map, and slay all the living. Buildings have a red bar indicating health. Many buildings produce enemies. The blue pie indicator tells you about the production status. Okay, so as long as we're beating it to death, it won't produce new enemies. Good to know. Or if we get uh, different, more interesting weapon, weapon types. Unit types? I don't know. Okay, well, one way or another, let's just destroy our way through everything. Sword. Wait, sword. Sword! You've found a new item. You can manage your items from your inventory. Just access it via I. Okay, so we have a better sword. So I can control click or double click to equip things. Uh, how much HP do I have? I've got tons, so I can pretty much just chew through this entire group and not have to worry about stuff. The, uh, the direct combat for this character is pretty limited, I'm not going to lie. Not so bad, though. But it's mainly just, like, walk up and then... I don't know. Hey, dad. Okay, good luck. I'm just going to sit here in the giant mess of my minions. We'll have to go kill that pie factory. Oh... Okay, so this might get kind of dicey. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal. But we're getting kind of hammered here. I gotta, I gotta break this. The peasants can die. But I gotta, I gotta burn this building to death, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. And note to self in the future, angry peasants all the way. Durability is important, but... I need, uh, durability is important, but I need DPS. The more bodies I can have down, the better. Hello, Hammer. In your first level, congratulations. After you gain a level, you can choose a card for this level. Access this with tab. Okay, so affect the Necromancer. So, Emperor increases your command cap the most. Magician increases your mana cap the most. And Hermit increases your health the most. Honestly, Emperor. Join the, horde. the bigger the horde, the better. Okay, so DPS up, damage per hit up, speed is down. Eh, it's fine. So it's just kind of slow. Nothing terribly fat, terribly interesting about it, unfortunately. But that's okay. Unfortunately, it looks like I might only be hitting one enemy at a time. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to let my minions do this while I beat this building to death. I don't actually know if I gain any XP. It looks like I gain any XP based on locations more than anything else. Okay, so now let's just go running around breaking things. 
doesn't look like I'm actually going to gain any more EXP here, so I guess I don't have to worry about it too much. Let's just run around beating things to death. Well, things. Breaking everything that we have sitting around. Hello. Area deed. And an axe. Go with the axe. Has about the same DPS, but I want that speed. Oh. That doesn't actually, uh... That does not actually benefit my undead in any way, shape, or form. Unfortunate. Not overwhelmingly, but, you know. I don't know. I do hope they make uh, the the attack animations, at the very least, a little bit more exciting. Okay, so is this my crypt, or is this... Okay, so we're back. I was really hoping I could heal these guys up, but the answer is no. So this is my crypt right here. So we want to go back to this guy. Nice work. You can feel the undead vibes already. The commander is held captive at the walls from uh, south from here. You should get the deed to him. Okay. To conquer the world, we need the ancient vein point network. It was grown thousands of years ago, but the living rendered it unusable when they last defeated us. Well, down we go. So it doesn't look like killing enemies gets us this EXP. Land shall soon be mine. Completing objectives, though. Oh, and I went the wrong way. Uh, yes. Okay, this is good. I just have to make sure I go down. I was facing the wrong direction. Where am I? I'm here. Yeah. The character just enters the area and is just, like, looking the wrong direction. Hmm. I once maintained the Vainpoint network, but the living stole the pump, a massive enchanted heart of a giant. The commander might be able to help us, if you can free him. Okay, so we want to go probably up first. And we don't have spells yet, so I'm not really sure what mana is used for. It might be something incredibly useful. It is locked. Alright, I guess we're going the other direction. Hello. Okay, so these are fancy. Precise acts of deconstruction. Uh, does more damage against buildings. Same thing here. So... The acts of deconstruction versus the pre precise. The precise is much, much better. We've still got the deed. We've got a lot of different pieces of equipment, too. I'm just going to let them handle that for a second. I want to keep this building from uh, doing anything useful. Burn them down. Might hurt a bit. Okay. Your aromatic automatic shield is activated. This happens if your health drops near zero or you lose your whole horde. When the shield goes up, you need to think fast. Fight or flee. Shield will protect you for a short period of time. Okay. I don't have much on the whole uh, flea side of things. And honestly, these guys are almost dead. Perfect. And obey. Okay. Let's get my horde back. Wreck this one. Oh, this is the one summoning dudes. I'm just going to let it. Because we could certainly use some more minions here. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. I got a couple that are kind of injured, but we can we can do without. There we go. Minions. I don't know if I want to go full command cap here. It'd be interesting to go wizard, but we've got to we've got to see what we can actually get with that. All right. Well, what do we got in here? Oh. Commander's prison, you say? What's up, sticks? Oh, no, never mind. It'd be interesting to have a whole group of, like, ranged dudes. I don't know if the AI is good enough for that, unfortunately. Nope. I'm gonna kind of walk up just smacking people. I, I legitimately hope. I legitimately hope. I always hope. I hope they... They drastically improve the uh, the character animations just because he looks so like bored. He's like, eh, eh, 
Yeah. Anyway. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. Thank you. Very health. It's funny, on the outside, I was an honest man, straight as an arrow. I had to come to prison to be a cook. Or, had to come to prison to be a crook. Okay. It is locked, but there is a treasure chest. We gotta get that open. Well, we found the commander. We also found the minion horde. Well, minion horde, the, uh... Gooner patrol? I don't know. I mean, I'm the boner patrol, so... I don't know. Whatever. Die for me. All living slain. Hopefully we get the ability to sell some of my stuff at some point. I have no use for 90% of this. At last, someone is getting things done. I've been in this cage for centuries. I managed to hide this pump before they captured me. Take it to Sticks and meet me at the crypt later. Okay. So nothing in that one, but treasure. Got a crap. Okay, dagger of poisoning. Now that sounds a little bit more my speed. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Damage the enemy for 48 HP. Speed is really fast. However, yeah. <coughs> so to attack a lot faster, which would be kind of nice, but. I want the minions to do extra damage to structures. The the more we can just, like, chunk through things and destroy stuff, the better. Because we don't actually need to... We don't actually need to, um... Kill units most of the time. I guess unless I want to unlock in new unit types. That is, that is fair. All right, let's keep the blood flowing. Test drive the network by traveling to the crypt. The commander will certainly be interested in that deed you got. Okay, use the viewpoint north of the wall. Can I get through here yet? No. Oh, whatever. We'll just go back. Okay. Oh, vein point. You can travel to locations. You've opened a vein point. Locations are marked with that. Okay, so we can go talk to the commander. Oh, so that's what that is. Nicely done. I've prepared a powerful item for you. Alright, we got that. New quest, going south. The ancient evil must find its way south to continue the conquest. A wall stands in his way, and the key is being held by a dangerous adversary. Okay. Well, this is kind of neat. So we've activated these. I don't think we have the rest. We're getting there on these. Yeah, I should have actually waited to kill more so we could actually just summon them. Okay, so what is this? Commander's Stick. Cast Fireball. Sets enemies on fire, dealing 104 fire damage over 4 seconds. Mana capacity plus 42. Okay, so we've got our first magic spell. Um, what are we... Holy crap, how many enemy types are there in this game? Because there's like... There's this here, and it looks like it might go even deeper. I think this game is launching in early access, so there's probably only a lot more that they're going to do with this. I am reborn. Okay. Sup, sticks? I see the commander has awarded you with a Hellfire stick. It seems like you have the mana to use it. Go ahead, try it out. Hot stuff. Now go and kill John. He knows nothing, but is a dangerous adversary and holds the key to the wall. Sup, John. I'm gonna get, go chuck some fire at you. It does look like I get mana back fairly consistently. Oh, but it's, it's not that great of damage. No, it's pretty good damage. So I'll have to think about what I want to do. Wow, he exploded into, uh, stuff. Okay, so let's just kill these guys. Grab most of these. Selling items. You can sell items from your inventory to free up space and gain extra gold. Access your inventory with I. Good to know. Can I kill the archers? If I can? Yay, burning. 
Okay, so inventory. How do we how do we sell? Ah, control click. What is that? Key to the dungeon. Scythe. Damages maximum six enemies for oh, AoE. Okay, so that's just straight up worse. That's not much better. Just grab some more. Okay. I mean, we're pretty much fine. I do a fair bit of damage, and I don't know we are gaining EXP for this. Yeah, so if I just hang out just killing things for a while... Oh! I revived John. Your mana regenerates automatically, but you can accelerate this by getting mana orbs. Got it. Okay. Well, seeing as I get EXP for just wrecking these guys, uh, and I want to unlock the archers, we might as well just unlock the archers. By killing a whole boatload of them. And obviously get some more minions. So now we have to decide a little bit further what we want to do with my build. Obviously, command cap means that the more zombies I can carry around, the better. Um... And the, the, well, not the more that I can carry around, the better, but, um, you know, I'd be able to carry around a lot more undead. The one caveat-ish is, like, if we get some pretty swank spells later on, we can actually use that to our benefit as well. Okay, I should probably call it at this point. We've got the ability to recruit these, uh... We've got the ability to recruit the, uh... The swordsmen, or the, the axe wielders? The sword and board guys, or the axe and board guys? Like, that's, that's actually kind of worth it. Maybe? I mean, half the time I'm just reviving who already exists anyway. As opposed to, like, you know, summoning anybody new. I'm going to destroy everything. Just because. Just because. Just because I'm here. Just because I have nothing better to do tonight. No, I do. I got some other stuff I should work on. Get videos off. Hang out with Shell. Probably sleep. I need these things. If I sound weird or tired or whatever, it's because I am, uh... I'm <laughs> living in a hotel right now. Um, it's super temporary, but uh, it uh, makes it hard to kind of keep up with uh, content production and whatnot. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be able to turn this into a series immediately or if it's going to be like a, a one, two, three off, you know, kind of slowly while we wait. Then again, this is also, like I said, early access. So it is going to be one of those that it is going to take some time before uh, this game's actually reached its full potential. Still fun, though. I like the idea of it. Okay, so what do we do? So we could do sword for more personal damage. We could keep going emperor, or we could go hermit for health and... Hmm. This is tough. None of them increase my mana terribly... Let's see. Can I check necro stats? So, my damage bonus is kind of low. <clears throat> Command cap is 144. A chance. I mean, it would be interesting if I went sword. Actually, looking at this now, sword might be the best. Because that's a 9% more damage and only 15 less commands? Let's go sword. Very good. You can now travel further south. Let me improve that stick a bit to give it a little bit more oomph. Okay, so we've got the sh snowy commander stick. As fireball, setting enemies on fire, blah, 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 blah. The one consideration I want to know is, is that affected by the damage bonus? I hope it is. Okay, the Alwyn area has been infested with humans and are holding our... Kins undead captives, and in them free will be our next goal. 
All right, you eat fire. Yeah, I'm probably mostly going to focus on... I'm probably going to focus most of my efforts into summoning and stuff. Um, I got to really figure out, like, what the major... I'm not going to say bonuses are, but it's like, okay, wow. Turns out fire is pretty effective here. Uh, I got to figure out, like, what the weighting is, like, which is the best. I, I'm so used to MMOs, for example. Wow. Oh, they even repair them. That's good to know. I'm going to wreck these. Now let's get some more gooners. You will never stop me. <laughs> I am too strong for you. I've actually taken some damage here, so... Mild consideration. I could level up here, but I, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna continue on. Or use this as a really good stopping point. Because I want to get this episode out. And it takes like four hours to upload a video while I'm here, which is the problem. So area five of 31 claimed. Oh, so this probably isn't even that hard, actually. Well then, it's gonna make this is this kind of an easy series, at least for a little while. Obviously, uh, we wanna get those merchants so I can start doing stuff with it. Are any of these good? Let's see, mana when you hit a living creature. Well, let's sell everything that's that's gray. We have deeds. But I don't think I care too much for those. Okay, so Hammer has Mana Steel. They both have Mana Steel. If I was going for more of a caster build, it would be okay. But I don't really I don't really know what I want to go for yet. Once we have more spells, I think I'll care more. For now, this is fine. Sacrificial Altar. You can get rid of unwanted units by using the Sacrificial Altar in the Crypt. Neat. Alright, let's heal. Nice. This is a fun game. I I like where they're going with it. I want to see them go further. Perfect. Okay. I'm noticing... Oh. Man cap is full. Um, hmm. Where's this Sacrificial Altar? It looks like they have a lot planned, and either it's not in the game yet, or, or I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so how do we how do we use the sacrificial altar? So it just tells me my kill count. Does it say active? Because this is how many I've killed. I... Okay. I just figured it would have said active after a certain point. But I, I guess not? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, this is really fun. I can't wait to play more. I'm going to try and keep this a consistent thing. Seeing as there's only so much content currently available in the game anyway. And, uh, well. Let's see what other kind of crazy things we can necrom necromance here. It'd be nuts if all of these are in the game. I'd love to just go, like, nuts with uh, giants or something. I don't know. Just go with like a really, really hefty ranged build. Yeah, I I think just because of how this game works, I'm probably going to just go pure command cap, cap from now on. Even if it's not necessarily exactly the most optimum. I'm just thinking eh, the more the more gooners I can have in a giant, giant like horde, the better. Because honestly, the melee combat and the spells, unless we get more spells, Magic would do it, but, like, direct melee? Hmm. Unless... Unless that damage bonus actually affects my, uh, my spell damage as well. I, I don't know. And that's gonna be kind of hard to figure out. Because it says damage bonus, 15%, but... I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's something we'll find out, or we never will find out, because it won't matter. Because we'll just roll through the game and min-maxing straight up doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I guess with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Undead Horde. And as always, thanks for watching.